Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Alrighty, so today I'm going to Japan. It's my first time ever going to Japan, and I'm very excited to go to Japan, I will admit. It's currently 4.32 in the morning. I woke up about an hour and a half ago, and I'm feeling pretty chipper, which is not the usual. I'm gonna be spending the next 18 hours on a plane slash in an airport, uh, which I am not the most excited about, I will admit. Uh, but I am very, very, very excited to, well, have the opportunity to go to Japan, that is for sure. Oh, whoa, what's up, what's up? How's it going, how's it going? How are y'all doing this morning? See, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get tickets at terminals? Instead of talking to somebody, I hope? I'm not sure. I printed mine off last night, but I don't know if that's the actual boarding pass or not. Passport, boarding pass, itinerary seat. Scan. Scan. All right. Print. Select. Printing failed. All right. So, because it wouldn't let me print even the one for here. So, I'm just going to get in line. Hi there. How's it going? Cool. I'm just, uh, I'm going to Japan and it says I need the. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. There we go, y'all. All checked in. I don't know if y'all can see me, but it is what it is. Oh, oh. Easy enough process. Indeed. Indeed. Especially since it's, I don't know, like 4.30 in the morning. Right, yeah. <laughs> Makes it so much easier. Uh, was, Not enough, yeah. yeah, enough of a line. Of a line yeah, seriously. How much was the flight again? It was like... 1100 bucks? Yeah, 1173, I think. 1173, y'all. That's how much the flight was. This is the cheapest flight I could get to Japan as well. See, so yeah, taking the cheapest flight to Japan today, still 1175. Expensive. But that's both ways. It's not one way, so. This actually like what? What is that? 600 bucks? It's actually not that bad for going literally around the entire world. Uh, so, <laughs> well, not around the entire world, halfway around the world, I guess. This is not terrible. Seriously, crazy shit. Not looking forward to spending the next 18 hours in, in either an airport or a <laughs> or a plane, that's for damn sure. <laughs> and then doing it again on the way back. <laughs> Gotta love TSA. <laughs> How's it going? What's the last name? Jacob Jones. Good to go. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Folks, the laptops, iPads, stay inside your bag. Don't take nothing out. Sweet. Made it through. It's flagged in your bag. So now we've got like two hours to hang out. <laughs> hey, doesn't hurt to get to the airport on time. The TSA line was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. No, seriously. 
Hey, big bet, big bet. And we're at gate some C something, so. Like C9. Yeah. There's another flight there now, but might as well just go hang out around there. I'm surprised they don't sell hella nicotine gum here. They'd make bank if they did. Find an open seat and chill out for the next two hours. Sweet, sweet. Oh. I am indeed. Been recording for the last 30 minutes. I'm trying to think if there's anything I figured I, I forgot to mention. I mentioned how much the flight cost. I mentioned how long it's going to take because it's going to be about 18 hours with flights and just airports in general. So I'm going to be going 18 hours without smoking. It's going to be fun. But I was smart. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. But I was smart because I brought some vouchers. Group number six to board our flight to Dallas. If you're not already an Advantage member, you can join for free by going to aa.com slash But, but... I brought some nicotine pouches and some nicotine gum. So I should be all good to go. I also have an insane amount of snacks on me. So I should be, I did indeed. <laughs> of course, I ain't going a day without. It was my, it was my last smoke in America. I was actually thinking that when I was walking because I was just walking around the neighborhood and I was just like, man, last smoke here and I feel like that's five weeks. Oh, that's one other thing I forgot to mention. Gonna be gone for like the next five weeks. I'm hyped. Gonna be with you guys for the next two weeks. And then I'm gonna be solo traveling for the next three after that. Which I'm a little bit nervous for, I will admit. But I am very, very, very excited for nonetheless, that is for sure. I think that's all about, just about all I had to say. I think that's 30 minutes in the video and I finally got the intro done. Alrighty, so it's been about an hour and a half now, and I ain't gonna lie, it's been now about, no, it hasn't been an hour and a half. It's been about an hour since I last talked to y'all, that's what it was, but it's been an hour and a half since I last had a cigarette, and I ain't gonna lie, I be wanting some nicotine right now, but I had the forethought to not only bring some extra cigarettes, but to also bring some nicotine gum and to also bring some snus. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my snus out real quick out of my backpack. I have it somewhere in here. Let's see, there we go, got my snus. Just go ahead and uh, put all that back in there. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this up and grab myself a little bit of a pouch in all honesty, because uh, I'd be wanting some. Let's just go ahead. Just that, just a little bit. There we go. Let's go and get this all opened up. If I can. This is always a pain. These are always a pain to open up for me. Uh. Uh. Yeah, and they were like. Alright y'all, this is really hard to open. This is really hard to open. Now I was looking at the flight stuff last night as well, and they still had like lots of open seats too. I was like, what? Like I could choose any, I could choose like a lot of different seats. I was like, what is going on? This is so not normal. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I closed it again by accident. Okay, this is being a pain. I'm really struggling right now, y'all. struggling so much right now oh there we go i got it open y'all i got it open looking forward to uh looking forward to having a pouch need my nicotine this nest i've got today is some uh camel frost I know it's not the best snus in the world. It's certainly not some of the good snus I've heard of before, but it's what they sell at gas stations in my local area, so it's what I buy. But 
in the next couple minutes or so. Starts giving me some nicotine and everything like that kind of thing. I think I might go fill up my water bottle before the flight. I think we've got 20 minutes, 20 minutes until boarding. Yeah, just about 15 minutes until boarding now uh, for the flight. Took me a total of 10 minutes to go ahead and get that can't tennis nuts all opened up. But I think I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle, probably go take a piss. And I think that is overall the plan. I think that's overall the plan. So, um, yeah, not really too much else to say. The flight to Toronto is about an hour and a half, and then we've got a four hour layover, and then we get on the plane to Japan, the plane to Japan, and that is like a, a 12 hour and 30 minute flight, if not like 13 hours kind of thing, probably more like 13 hours in all honesty. It's gonna be a, an experience that is for sure. It's the longest flight I've ever taken, and uh, I am both looking forward to it and not looking forward to it at the same time, I will admit. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle in a minute. And I think I'm gonna go take a piss at the same time. Big bet, big bet. How's it going? Can't complain. Thank you very much. Have a great one. It's tight. So make sure that you have people's permission to film when coming in with faces. Okay. Always secure your own mask before assisting another person. Si la pression de la cabine change, un masque à oxygène tombera du panneau au-dessus de vous. Restez assis. Tirez le masque vers vous. Utilisez la bande élastique pour vous. Go through customs. Sweet, sweet. That's pretty easy. I guess we go down now. I'm gonna check out. take the stairs. Y'all, I might just have to go into the duty free shop and just see what cigarettes they have. I'm very tempted to.
So they have a good amount of alcohol. They have Crown Royale. Lots of Crown Royale, actually. Crown Royale Cooler. Actually, that's sick. I actually want that. That's sick. They have cigarettes, though. Oh, here we go. Cigarettes. Found them. Please do not open the cigarettes. All right, cool. When I'm coming back, I might just have to get a pack or two. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So it's starting device. So how much are $132? $132? This is supposed to be the duty free store. What? That's insane. Palm off smooth. And I've got to buy a full carton. I can't just buy one pack. Oh my God. They got the next select. Palm off smooth, palm off extra, palm off full. Players, I do really want to try players. Player Smooth, LDs, John Player Rich. Oh, I am very tempted to buy it, but I've got to buy 200. I've got to buy a whole carton if I'm coming back with this stuff. Okay, I've completed my mission. I've come to the duty free store and found some cigarettes, but they're a lot more expensive than I thought. I'm going to have to figure out what 107 like Canadian is because I want to try Canadian Classic Riches specifically. I definitely want to try those. That's these right here. And um, I want to try those. They're 107 bucks for what is that, a carton? So, king size, yeah. So it's 25, 825 or 200 cigarettes. Hmm. Hmm. It's a lot of money. It's way more than I'd pay in the States. It's a lot of money. Oh, they got rooftops, bro. They got rooftops. Uh, this is the knockoff um, Marlboros. Or no, it's the real Marlboros actually, sorry. It's real Marlboros. Interesting. That's cool. Because uh, rooftops in Canada are called, or Marlboros in Canada are called rooftops. That's it. They have cigars here. American Spirit Corset. I didn't realize they sold American Spirits here. Interesting. Cafe Cream. I guess these are all cigars. They have Dunhills here. I don't know what kind of Dunhills king size. It doesn't specify what kind of Dunhills they are. They have Dumar. Heard lots of good things about that. Marlboro Select. Heard not so good things about Canadian Marlboros, really only rooftops, uh, but rooftops also I haven't really heard super pleasant things about either. More Dumar, Export A Medium, oh man. Man, I wanna try them all, bro. I'm not buying any right now. I'm not buying any right now, but I really wanna buy, <laughs> I wanna buy like one of all of these. Oh man. This is heaven right now, y'all, right? this is heaven. They've got cigars too, any cigars I know? No. No, I'm not seeing any cigars I know. It's cool they have them, though. That's pretty cool stuff. Cool they have them. Okay, so it actually sells, so for five, that's still kind of expensive. That's not cheap at all. Damn. 478 That's insane. That's crazy, y'all. I think definitely if I had to pick one of these I was going to take back on my return trip to the States with me, it would probably be either the John Players or the... Uh, what was it? Or the Rothmans? Rothmans a pretty good one too, I've heard. Or probably. Hmm. Having trouble deciding. Probably Belmonts. Canadian. Probably Canadian Classics Rich or Canadian Classics Original. One of those. But here's just a complete look of all of the cigarettes that they have here, y'all. It's pretty cool stuff. Glad to, glad to see cigarettes at the duty-free shop, that is for sure. Glad to see cigarettes at the duty-free shop. That's some pretty cool stuff. Oh, man. I want to try all of these. <laughs> oh, man. It's such a shame I can't. Oh, well. That's so cool, though. Man. About a board. This is gonna take a fat minute though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie y'all. It really is gonna take a fat minute. After a long period of waiting, no, we're finally... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, honestly, they were trying to pull that shit on y'all. After a long period of waiting, we're finally boarding the flight to Tokyo. It is a packed flight though, I ain't gonna lie. It is very busy. Alrighty y'all, I got my snus. I'm about to take off and uh, yeah. Consuming your own alcohol or any cannabis products is 
prohibited. Wi Fi internet that. service is available. Got 13 hours left of this flight. It's going to be lots of fun. It's going to be lots of fun. So, yeah, we're going to be, or sorry, 12 hours and 46 minutes, according to my screen that's in front of me. So, we're going to be getting there at 1700. 1700 is. So 510. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Cannot complain, you know what I'm saying? Cannot complain in the least. It's actually not bad at all. Pretty good time if I do say so myself. But uh, yeah, looking forward to the next 13 hours. Definitely gonna try to catch a little bit of a nap and uh, just try to watch some TV and get some work done, you know what I'm saying? So this is my first time ever being in an airplane bathroom. I've never taken a piss or a shit in an airplane bathroom before. And while I'm about to take a piss in this toilet right here. I gotta admit though, bathrooms, it, it's not so bad kind of thing. It's not so bad. It's actually pretty nice. You got a little sink right here. You got some soap, you got a trash can, mm -hmm. you, got a, you got a toilet, you got something right here. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. We're about, I'm about, I'm trying to think, an hour and a half, two hours into the flight right now. And uh, this is the first piss of the flight. Certainly, you know, the flight's my behalf. I'll have to let you guys know how this experience uh, was after I take a piss, you know what I'm saying? I can only though. The bathroom really ain't so bad. I'm just gonna go wash my hands real quick. I haven't flushed the toilet yet, I should probably do that. Solid 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. Pretty nice bathroom if I do say so myself. I think I'm going to go get back to uh, watching some TV, you know what I'm saying? So I'm currently sitting in the airplane bathroom. We're about halfway through the flight now. We've got about 6 hours left. I got some. I got some. Picture gum in my mouth. Feeling pretty good right now, I ain't going to lie. A little bit tired. Couldn't really get too much sleep. I'm not going to sleep in on planes, that's for sure. But, I ain't going to lie forward to getting to Japan. Definitely looking forward to getting to Japan. And uh, only six hours left. Only six hours left. So halfway through the flight. And um, yeah, just had to take a piss. That's why I'm hanging out here. I ain't gonna lie. It's a, it's a nice bathroom though. It's a nice bathroom though. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Tokyo Narita Airport. The local time is 5.25. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. So the first thing I do once I go through customs, get through security or whatever, and then maybe after I buy like my SIM cards and stuff like that, because I gotta buy my SIM cards, is going and having a smoke. It's been over 24 hours now, and I'm doing good, because I got my snus and I got my nicotine gum. But it don't hit the same. It don't hit the same, it really don't. Make sure I'm not forgetting nothing. Not forgetting anything. Doesn't look like it's me. All right, big bet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Eleven hundred bucks well spent. Seeing cool cars already. Those are cool. Those are pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Cool cars are ready. Whoa, Mario, bro.
Uh, it says no photos. Y'all, I'm gonna stop recording. We made it through customs. They weren't really a big fan of uh, recording in there, so I well didn't. But uh, made it through customs. Made it through their quarantine whatever stuff with no issues. And now we're about to take the train to our hotel for the night. Which I'm pretty hyped to do. I missed showing y'all the train. Here it is, though. I was putting stuff in my backpack while I was all the trains showed up. I can't believe me. I cannot believe me, y'all. Is that that? Like that. You wanna sit? Yeah, I got you. Appreciate it. Oh, oh. There we go, y'all. We're moving. <laughs> I think I'm going to update y'all when we get to our uh, destination and I'm going to see if I can find a place to smoke there because I'm not ending the vlog until I smoke. It's not happening. I'll see y'all there though. See if I can find a smoking area right here. Oh. My hands are dying. I'm definitely wearing gloves next time I go outside. So, we just got to the hotel and I just realized they have an indoor smoking area. I've never actually smoked in a designated smoking area that is indoors before. Of course, it smells like ciggies in here, that is for sure. Never smoked in an area like this before. Crazy. I've never smoked in an indoor smoking area, and I'm honestly so excited too. I'm so hyped, y'all. Never, ever, ever done this before. Never smoked in an indoor smoking area, especially one at a hotel. This would never fly in the United States. This would never fly in the United States. Got my ciggy though. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these, all it up, and go ahead and smoke my first cigarette. In over 24 hours, I smoked my first cigarette ever in Japan. Although I'm not smoking a Japanese cigarette for the first time right now, because that's that's gonna be a future video, you know what I'm saying? Let's go and get this hold up though. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? That's so nice. That's so damn nice. I have really been missing, I really have been missing having a smoke over the last literal 24 hours. It's currently 9 10 japanese time and uh, where i live is like 14 hours behind so it's currently like i want to say like 8 a.m in on the east coast where i live kind of thing uh, yeah going 24 hours at home without a cigarette that would have been a challenge if i'm on a plane it's a different story kind of thing but still a challenge but i said i was going to end the vlog when I was able to have a smoke and I was expecting to have to smoke outside in that wind, I'm really glad that I, I'm gonna make sure my video is actually recording. <laughs> okay, thankfully it is. Um, but I'm really glad that I don't have to smoke a cigarette outside in the wind. That wind was insane, I ain't gonna lie all. So I'm very glad I don't have to do that. Um, I'm glad I get to enjoy my cigarette inside and I'm gonna be enjoying my cigarettes inside for the next couple days. Although I don't think I'm gonna be doing reviews in here, not only because I'm sure it's very echoey on video, it's very echoey in real life too, uh, but also, because other people are going to be walking in and out of here. <laughs> and uh, I'm a little bit too awkward to do reviews in a closed space like this. First time in Japan. First time smoking a cigarette in Japan. First time smoking a cigarette in an indoor smoking area. There's a lot of firsts in this video. First time taking the, the Tokyo Metro. Man, first buzz in 24 hours? There's a lot, there's a lot. Well, not first buzz in 24 hours. I did first cigarette buzz in 24 hours. That's the way to put it. But man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. 
Whew. Man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so good right now. This is getting me, this Hesky right here is getting me so buzzed, I ain't gonna lie. Man. Man, wow. These are heavy. I forgot how heavy these are, especially after 24 hours. I'm chilling right now. It's a really nice smoking room though. Man. I'm so glad I don't have to smoke outside right now. It's so cold and windy. It's insane. I'm so glad I don't have to smoke outside right now. Oof. Man. Man, I'm so buzzed right now though, y'all. I'm so buzzed right now. Man, certainly no complaints about the app. Man, genuinely, no complaints about the app. This is so nice right now. Well though, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I went to Japan for the first time and I took the most inexpensive flight possible, which was still $1,100. I smoked a cigarette in Japan for the first time. I got my first buzz in 24 hours. But, um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one.